In this problem, we're told in an internal combustion engine, air at atmospheric pressure and a temperature of about 20 degrees Celsius is compressed in a cylinder by a piston to one eighth of its original volume. Compression ratio equals eight. Estimate the temperature of the compressed air, assuming the pressure reaches 40 ATM. So in this problem, what we're trying to solve for is uh, the temperature, right? And so we have two states of a system. We have the, uh, the state of the system in the beginning, and we know uh, that if we have a system at one state, the pressure times the volume over the temperature is equal to the pressure uh, times the volume uh, divided by the temperature at the other state, right? So what we need to determine is uh, the pressure, the volume, and the temperature at the beginning, the pressure times uh, the pressure, and then the volume of the second state. And then what we can go ahead and do is solve for the temperature at the second state, because that's what they want us to find. So what we want to do is just look at the problem, and they basically give us all these variables that we need. So let's just start with P1. So they tell us in the beginning that the pressure is going to be at atmospheric pressure, which basically means P1 is equal to 1 atm. Then they tell us um, the temperature is about 20 degrees Celsius. But when you solve these, you need to make sure that you're in uh, Kelvin. So to convert from Celsius to Kelvin, you add 273.15. So it's going to be equal to 293.15 Kelvin. So that's going to be the second temperature. And then the hard part about this problem is they tell you that it's compressed to one eighth of its original volume. So the way you want to pretend how this works is you can set V1 to any number, but you just got to make sure the second part is set to one eighth of that. So we're going to say V1 equals one. And then this is an ATM, by the way, but it's, this is going to be one. Uh, this is the wrong units. This is for pressure. I just wrote it accidentally, but keep in mind V1 is just going to be one while V2 is going to be one eighth because it's, they're saying it's one eighth in the second part, right? In this part of the system. So uh, we also know the pressure at the second part. It's 40 uh, atmospheres. And so now that we know everything, right, we got V2, P2, V1, T1, P1, we can solve for T2. So to solve for T2, you're just going to multiply both sides by T2. And so then you'll get T2, P1, V1 over T1 equals P2, V2 over. And then what you can do is just multiply both sides by T1. And then you're going to divide by P1 v1 and the way you want to write it is you want to have uh, the one out front so t1 and then you want to set them over each other so it's going to be times p2 over p1 and then v2 over v1 and so now all we have to do is just plug in so t2 is equal to t1 which we said was 293.15 so 293.15 and then p2 we know is going to be 40 and then right i'm not going to write the units because they're just going to cancel uh, divided by p1 which is 1 atm and then V2 over V1. So V2 is 1 over 8, V1 is 1. So 1 over 8 over 1 is just 1 over 8. So we have 1 over 8 here. And so now what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and multiply it out. So 293.15 times 40 times 1 over 8. And when you do this, you're going to get that it equals, I'm just going to round here. So it's going to be equal to about uh, 1,465 Kelvin. Keep in mind, this is just an estimate. And so that's just going to be equal to, right, we can add or if you want to convert from Kelvin to Celsius, you're just going to minus 273.15 or just 273. But yeah, basically this is just equal to about 1200 degrees Celsius. Uh, if you want the more exact version, just multiply it out. I just rounded though. So about 1200 degrees Celsius, you can round however you want though. But yeah, so your answer is going to be about 1200 degrees Celsius. And so yeah, hopefully you found this useful.